It's hard to put some words on the paper, easy to record, but hardest thing is to start putting all the videos in one place. Yes, editing, and I hate it. All starts last year in February when I decided to buy a phone for my wife and I end up with this channel. This phone had a such success that makes me to continue to make more videos, comparison, speed test and more updates which you love it. Starting from the updates, A50 came with a fingerprint sensor in the screen but on the beginning didn't look to be that fast. I tested against flagship phones and after a few more updates seems to be on the good way. Moving on, performance again seems to be one of the best mid-range of 2019. I did test it against other phones, did win a few tests but also losing against the latest flagship phones. And yes, the Exynox 9610 and 4GB of RAM is more than enough to run even one more year easily. I'm not a game player but every game I tested on Galaxy E50 did work without any problems. The processor, GPU and the RAM pushed the phone to its limits and did a good job. The screen is where it should be, big, bright, full of colors, yes of course because it's an AMOLED and Samsung make one of the best AMOLED displays. Watching on YouTube or seeing a movie it was a pleasure to have it. Moving on the camera, <clears throat> maybe a A50 could do better than that. My personal opinion is that the camera could be even better. We have a triple camera of 25 megapixel wide, an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel deep sensor which can take nice clear pictures but moving on the videos can do a lot better. Also I had a few problems with the camera shutting down for no reason but with the next updates was fixed it and work it since then. Coming to the problems, I saw a lot of you have problems with mobile data, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and I decided to make a video to try to help you with that and seems to be one of the most viewed video in my channel and I have to thank you for that. Even now you can subscribe to my channel, uh, give me your appreciations and share it if you wanted. Having a big battery like 4000 mAh also was a big win for Galaxy E50 because it can last all day for a not heavy user gamer. And the fast charging on 15 watts, I would say is not that bad. You can see in the charging test that Galaxy A50 is not the fastest and not the slowest phone. So the final conclusion is that this little beast can easily be my phone for one more year. But, well, his brother Galaxy A50 is here and uh, probably it's time to move on. So thank you for watching this short video after one year of use of my Galaxy A50. Thank you again for watching. Uh, give it a like, share, subscribe it and see you again next time.